Just last month, the UN Panel on Climate Change issued a stark warning to the world. Cut carbon pollution drastically in the next 12 years or the planet will turn into some sort of dystopian hellmouth. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Nish, out of interest, do you do anything to help save the planet? Uh, yeah, I mean, I re recycle. Do you? Yeah. Well done. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, that, that is fantastic, actually. Thank you. No, Nish, it is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's tiny steps like that that pave the way <laughs> towards actually making a difference. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, when Nish isn't burning fridges in his back garden... <laughs> um, he does recycle. Now, I know that uh, some of this show's wonderfully right on audience will already be doing their bit for the environment, but there are also some of you who've been asking, Rachel, all this feels kind of inevitable. Would it be better if we just give up and let the world burn? <laughs> Who really needs birds and trees when I'd rather just be taking pictures of my own face? <laughs> <laughs> to use an analogy, when my friend Grace fell out of a pub window through a conservatory ceiling when she was drunk... <laughs> The paramedics said that she actually benefited from being as tanked as a teapot because her body went all floppy, which meant she actually got less hurt in the fall. <laughs> Therefore, should we, as a planet, just go floppy? <laughs> Genuine question, Nish. Should we all just get a flop on? No. <laughs> One man's opinion. Now, I, I know a lot of people are thinking, perhaps it'll be fun when the world is underwater. It'll be like a jolly family film, like Finding Nemo. Where is he? Where's that little fish gone? Well, due to rising sea temperatures, he's boiled to death. <laughs> so, given that we've only got 12 years before it's too late, what's the British government doing? Probably concentrating all its might on this one thing, right? Probably they're all gathered around a giant globe, urgently brainstorming with world leaders and science geniuses and Morgan Freeman on Skype. <laughs> well, truth is, they are concentrating their efforts on just one thing. They're putting all of their efforts into getting a slightly shitter trade deal with our closest trading partner. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you want to stop uncontrolled immigration, you might want to prevent the Southern Hemisphere from becoming uninhabitable. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to the government, with Environment Secretary Michael Gove at the helm, they do have some policies that will impact global warming. Here are a few of the fascinating curveballs that they've signed off in the last year. The government are backing the Heathrow expansion. Now, an expanded Heathrow will be the biggest source of carbon emissions in the whole of the UK, with the same emissions as some entire countries, such as Croatia or Kenya. <laughs> Mother Earth, nil. Friends wanting annoyingly expensive weddings in foreign countries, one. <laughs> They're also blocking wind farms. The government has blocked the construction of these majestic onshore wind farms because apparently they're an eyesore. Too right. <laughs> Give me that Hinkley power station any day of the week. <laughs> it's the Taj Mahal of Somerset. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. It's the background on my phone. <laughs> uh... I jest, of course. Who doesn't love windmilling? Uh, Rachel, that has a second meaning. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so why aren't we listening to the 97% of peer review scientists who say we need to act now to save the planet? Well, for one thing, no one's trusted scientists since the absolute grade A balls up in Jurassic Park. <laughs> We need to remember that science isn't the latest trend. It's not like Cardi B or dairy intolerance. It's literally... <laughs> whatever they are, it's literally <laughs> the pursuit of knowledge. We need to take action now, Nish. We really do. And it all starts with you. Me? Why? Let me finish, Nish. It starts with you. Environment Secretary Michael Gove. <laughs>
and any world leaders who are watching, which I imagine number in there literally hundreds, we all have a duty to help the planet, but we can't do it without official legislation by global leaders. So sign those petitions, contact the people in charge and hold them to account because the planet's in their hands and at the moment they are absolutely fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> We mustn't be like my drunk friend, Grace. We mustn't give in. What I'm trying to say is, don't let Michael Gove go floppy. Thank you very much, Rachel Paris.